Greetings and welcome to this Knowledge Byte. In this Knowledge Byte, I will be introducing you to the world of viruses. What are viruses? Viruses comprise DNA or RNA at their core. This DNA or RNA is surrounded by a protein coat and this comprises a virus. A virus is a non-living molecule. It can only replicate inside a host. This host can be an animal or a human host. Some viruses infect bacteria and these are termed as bacteriophages. But for the purpose of this knowledge bite, we will be looking at viruses which infect human beings. Viruses are classified based on their nucleic acid composition. We can have either RNA viruses or DNA viruses. This classification scheme is known as the Baltimore scheme. Moving on to the Baltimore scheme, viruses are also classified based on their method of replication. Some viruses, which are known as retroviruses, revert back from RNA to DNA and back to DNA again. This process is known as a retrotranscription. We are now in the midst of a pandemic caused by a specific virus. This is a coronavirus. Coronaviruses have at their core a positive stranded RNA molecule. Coronaviruses are respiratory viruses which are transmitted via aerosols. These aerosols enter through your nasal passages and into your lungs. Once the virus is inside your lungs, it binds to specific receptors. Upon binding to the receptor, the virus releases its RNA into the cell. The cell gets tricked into recognizing this RNA as a messenger RNA. Messenger RNAs are constituents of all our cells. Ribosomes within the cell bind to this RNA molecule. They then produce more viral proteins, which leads to the production of more RNA viruses. Once the coronavirus has replicated within our cells, it releases itself by a process known as exocytosis. The virus then enters our lungs, and when we breathe and cough, this virus is transmitted into the public domain. You need to adopt appropriate measures to contain this virus based on its mode of transmission. The first measure which you need to adopt is to use a mask. The second measure involves the usage of eye protection equipment. You can also revert to other measures such as maintaining your social distance as well as ensuring that you track your movements using an app on your mobile device. Please stay biosafe by keeping yourself informed and ensure that this pandemic is under control. Thank you for watching this Knowledge Byte and I look forward to your participation in future Knowledge Bytes. Stay informed, stay alert, stay biosafe. Thank you.